All right, you guys, good afternoon. So I'm walking you through my morning routine just for today. So usually Avery is at school, but she stayed home today. She's still in daycare, so she's not just playing hooky. Um, so I kind of get up, get the kids breakfast. Well, get Callie breakfast. Today, Gianna decided she did not want to be put down. So I am baby carrying the entire video. Um, yeah, so I just try to make me some coffee. So I learned to just put it in my little Yeti thingy to keep it hot or I'll end up heating my coffee up 20 times. Um, Callie loves pancakes and I'm glad Avery loves fruit. So it's a win-win there. Um, and I'm kind of just getting my life together, trying to put the baby to sleep and trying to clean the whole time while balancing the girls. Um, this is pretty much my daily thing, except take Avery out because she's usually at school. So in between all that, I go and I drop her off at school with the other two babies. And then I come home, then I start doing all this. So got to take my coffee breaks. Have to take my coffee breaks. Otherwise, y'all saw the eye that I gave Avery? No, I gave Callie because she's screaming nonstop. Um, so after breakfast is... Sorry, you can hear them in the back. After breakfast is kind of going and they're doing their own thing, I try to go and get myself together, get my room and everything, the bed made, blah, 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 blah. One thing about me, I'm not going to go a day without making my bed. Usually, as soon as I get out of my bed, I make my bed. But with taking Avery to school so early, I don't always get to do that the first thing. Um, my husband leaves for work at like 7.30, 8 o'clock after he drops shade off at school around like 7 20. so um every like two or three days we change our sheets out if you don't change your dirty sheets you can't talk to me okay and even two to three days sometimes gives me the heebie-jeebies because skin cells just fall everywhere like you're constantly shedding girls stop fighting sorry y'all you're constantly shedding like skin and all that stuff slob the baby throws up on the sheets like it's just a lot so make sure you're changing your sheets um and just something to mention that i'm not proud of i buy new comfort sets literally like every two weeks because when it's time to wash one um i just get rid of it because the washer and dryer like crumbles it all up and by the time i'm done paying dry cleaning i'm paying the same price if not more just to get another comforter set. So, yeah. We also don't sleep on the comforter set. So, it lasts a lot longer than um, you think. So, yeah. So, I'm still making this bed. It's taking me forever, y'all. Because this baby is attached to me. And she's sitting here staring at me. Hi. Say hi. But, yeah. So, it's taking me forever to make the bed. So, I usually make the bed. And then, after I make the bed is when I get ready for my workout. As you can see, I already have on my workout attire. Losing this baby weight has been amazing. And guess what I've been doing, you guys? Nothing. I've just been breastfeeding, which I'm so proud of. Oh, and speaking of breastfeeding, you are literally pouring out the side of your mouth, girl. Uh, but yeah, I've just been breastfeeding. I took the full six weeks off because I wanted to really just let my body recover. Don't feel rushed to get back out there and work out. But a lot of you guys have requested that I show you my workout. So I'm going to start doing that because I just started working out again. Now, I'm actually following somebody else's plan that I paid for. Um, so I'm not going to share all of his stuff because I'll share his info for you to um, pay for a plan. But I'll just show you what like my daily workout routine looks like. Um, so yeah, and I am still in this room. I swear, like the baby carrier is so convenient but it just takes so long everything is like takes less than or it takes double the time that it would usually take me to get everything done so once i get all my stuff together in the room i just take all the baby stuff move it on into the living room because now we're transitioning from one place to the next callie's done eating so time to get her <laughs> settled down should i be talking through the whole voiceover don't cry g here 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 anyways sticky fingers is done eating breakfast so i am sorry but i'm not just the perfect parent i'm about to hand her this phone so she can watch coco melon for a little bit while i run upstairs 
and get their rooms together. Um, hey, what's the matter? What's going on? Uh, but she loves, she watches Gracie's Corner. She watches Coco Melon. I haven't started putting her on Miss Rachel yet. So if you let your kids watch Miss Rachel or even Gracie's Corner, Coco Melon, what are your opinions on that? Like, you think one is better than the other? Do you think one is bad? I don't know. Dang, I completely forgot that I should have been finishing the kitchen, which I didn't. Hey, and don't make fun of me because I just throw the dishes up in there. I don't have a aesthetic home, but when we buy our big, big, big house soon, um, oh, I am literally decorating every piece from every inch of the house, top to bottom. Uh, but yeah, I like to sit more coffee. I like to sit all my stuff out, like the vase and um, the wine glasses and all that to let my husband know, hey, I'm running out of wine or hey, there's no more flowers. And he'll just replace all that stuff for me. Um, knock out the girl. Let me tell y'all something. The amount of bottles that I wash daily is ridiculous. My pump parts is so ridiculous. Like it's constant because you pump all this milk and then I like to separate it in in like three ounces per bottle. So I make like 17 bottles. It's just a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm finishing up and now I'm gonna head upstairs and try to knock out the girls' rooms. You saw them freaking wipes she snatched out of the container. I any any time I leave Callie unoccupied, she does something crazy. Just ripped all the wipes out. But I like to restock her stuff for the day. Um, every couple of days, I'll replace like the diapers and stuff like you see right now. I love her room. I love how she has a window with like, really good lighting. So I go in there a lot to like film and stuff. But you guys, kids are so dirty. They're so nasty. And I'm just realizing that I think girls are worse than boys. The girls will leave the toilet seat all gross. The counter just... Ugh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, so that's Callie's room. This is the playroom, so I'm not touching that, okay? They finna just be in there. That's Avery's room, and that's Jade's. Bye!